Reef DVM's coming at you here with um, a good review of some good starter and basic books and just materials for, for reefers starting out. I haven't seen much information on, on which books are good or bad out there, so I thought I'd take some of these books like this one here, The Simple Guide to Marine Aquariums, and show you um, what I think of them so that maybe if you're just starting out in this hobby and you're looking for some good literature, this might help. These big yellow bulletins that are in this book, um, I really like. They're kind of, well, it's kind of like, um, you know, a basic dummy book uh, for marine aquariums. This particular book uh, made by uh, Jeffrey Kurtz is a favorite of mine for beginners. Um, I started out with it many, many years ago. I think it was about 2002 or 2003 I bought it when it was hot off the press. And it, it's really scaled for that beginning person that, really is not sure about how they want to set up a marine aquarium or even what they're getting into. These big yellow bulletins like this here, they really tell you, hey, this is the just of the whole chapter, and uh, it gives you the take-home message. Now, there aren't a lot of graphic pictures in here showing you the in-depth detail uh, of, the, of the marine aquariums and the saltwater systems and setups, but there sure is a lot of basic knowledge to help you understand such things as light bulbs, halogens versus fluorescence and 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 uh, sump systems and different types of corals and even getting the the basic guide to what fish to have such as their yellow tang <laughs> um, it's just a a good beginner book um, particularly probably for an age level of you know high school to early teens so it reads real easy I like the fact that you know it has a nice index in the front um, it's got some kind of cartoon chapter dividers, which, you know, kind of make it easier on the eyes and, and fun to read in that regard. And, of course, it's got some nice markings throughout the book, as you can see on the left-hand guides there. Um, and the right hand, they've got the, the part one through part four, so you can find things pretty easy. Um, nice, simple um, index at the end, nothing fancy. Just a good book for beginners. Again, this is the Simple Guide to Marine Aquariums uh, by Jeffrey Kurtz. Um, good book to start out with, and um, I think it's really beneficial for, for those that are looking for some light reading material to figure out if they even want to be in this hobby, so to speak. Um, now, obviously, that's just the aquarium end of it. The, the company who put that out also put the Super Simple Guide to Corals out. Um, I don't know if this book is my favorite. Um, James here does a real good job of, of writing this book in the same style and format um, that Jeffrey did. Um, again, with a simple index at the beginning and then just kind of a chapter by chapter, chapter view of it. Um, I think there's four chapters in this book. Um, but, you know, it's kind of tough. It, the chapters are, are somewhat basic, but then they're somewhat in depth, especially when you get into you know, coral weapons and, you know, coral propagation and coral husbandry. And I don't know, when you try to make a, a coral for dummies book, like this kind of is designed like, I, I don't know, this this one just doesn't fly for me as much. But I guess if, if you like simple reading and you don't want to get too in-depth, uh, this book will probably work for you. I guess another problem I have is when you actually get into corals, other than the husbandry of water parameters and stuff, the more beneficial part to me is understanding what coral you have so you can even figure out you know where to place it and 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 who to keep it next to and, and this book just doesn't give enough depth folks so um, I guess I was kinda disappointed in this one I think I bought it around 2005 2006 and um, again a starter book for coral people but probably long term not a not a real good book to help you out it does have a simple index in the back um, and glossary which is good um, but other than that, um, just not my favorite. And the next book I have is Marine Invertebrates. Um, this book, um, written by uh, Ronald, and you know, what more can I say? The guy's got a PhD, and um, it's in the format of a pocket guide, a very thick, heavy book with about 450 pages, and it's, it's, it's really well done. The pictures are beautiful. It's pocket size, so you can stick it in your back pocket. It's one of these books that kind of does a little chapter summary on each of the families, and then it goes into the specifics of each of the types. Um, 
high gloss pictures, good resolution. Um, each thing tells you the common name, the scientific name, tells you its size, its range, its minimum aquarium, its lighting. Certainly tells you a little bit about, you know, how to feed it and its captive care. Um, I think there's about 500 different species in here. So when it comes to marine invertebrates, it's a good guidebook. It's just no way around it. Um, I like how it's laid out. I like um, its indexes. I like how the fact that it's very informative and consistent through all the different pages. It's just, it's a good book overall, folks. Nice index here at the end. I'd recommend this one, especially if you're looking at different types of, of invertebrates. The, the next book I'm going to choose kind of backpedals again back to basic aquarium setup. As you can see, I put these books kind of in order um, by copyright date. This one is called Marine Aquariums Basic Aquarium Setup and Maintenance by Ray. Um, copyright 2005, good basic starter book. The one thing I like about this book compared to the very first two books we talked about, which was kind of the, you know, uh, simple guides to aquariums and super simple guide to corals, is that this book goes through actual aquarium setup. It tells you a little bit about how to pick the right aquarium for your house and its location, and it talks a little bit more about the, the sumps and stuff that go with it, and talks more about what you want to do as far as coral placement, and why there are some ideal fish for a beginner, and why there's some not so ideal fish for a beginner. Now, again, this isn't a real long book. It's not a heavy book like the previous books are. Um, it's more just kind of simple, to the point. Um, Ray does a much better job of just kind of um, hitting the nail on the head in this book and for a beginner marine aquarium book I'm rather fond of this little one um, it's in a series called fish keeping made easy and uh, I think they've done a real good job of kind of getting their point across so again so far at this point I would recommend this book probably over the the super simple guide to corals and this is probably a comparable book to the first book that I showed which was um, a simple guide to marine aquariums um, but it's a little smaller and uh, a little bit more to the point. But again, I still like it. I like the fact this one even has some internet references, a glossary, and then, of course, you know, the standard index at the end. Uh, very good book. Uh, again, uh, my compliments to Ray in writing that one. Kicking it up uh, a notch here, I think we're going to move on. Um, Reef Aquarium Fishes. What more can I say? If I tip this book on its edge, it's full of sticky notes. <laughs> this is one of these guidebooks that's laid out really well. It, it really has these couple first pages that tell you aquarium suitability and reef compa compatibility. And boy, that's what you need when you're putting um, critters together. In, in this situation, this is not a beginner's book, but definitely more of that pocket guide to compatibility. The one thing I really appreciate about this book, especially um, in comparison to other field guides, is when you hit a topic of a certain class, family, breed, they give you more than one picture. They show you multiple pictures of fish in that family, and that really helps, especially when you're standing in the fish store, or even at night when I'm sitting on my sofa and I'm researching you know, a new fish, or I see a fish on the internet, I'm like, what kind of fish is that? Was that the male? Was that the female? You know, um, what is it like? Does it like crustaceans? Is it going to bother my reef? You know, these are the details I need to know. Does it threaten soft corals or does it not threaten soft corals? Um, this book really helps. I mean, this book tells you whether they're venomous or not. Um, wow, this just, they did a good job. Um, it was produced um, and... Uh, I think uh, the writer on it is Scott Michael. It's 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 a good book. I'd highly recommend this one. Um, can't say enough about it. I'm just I'm very pleased with this one. I've used it a lot over the last oh I don't know six years that I've had the book, and I'll probably continue to use it. I know the internet, folks, is a great research, but sometimes you just you can't beat a book like this. Again, uh, Reef Aquarium Fishes. This one gets all five stars in my book. Moving on to another book, though, that Scott has made, Marine Invertebrates, The 101 Best. Now, 
I gotta tell you, this book is really nicely laid out with kind of these three sections, this green, blue, purple thing here. Um, and then it's got all the same kind of detail that his Marine Aquarium Fishes book has that we just reviewed. But it only does 101 of them. So in comparison to the Marine Invertebrates by Ronald that we just did a little bit ago, this book is not as in-depth. The pictures are fantastic. And yes, it's got uh, my sticky notes on it because obviously I've used it and used it quite heavily. And I certainly like the book. Um, but when it comes to the large variety that we're now starting to see in the industry in the last three or four years, this book doesn't quite have enough in it. Um, granted, when I got this book um, quite a few years ago, I think I, I picked this book up um, about 2009, there wasn't even the volume of invertebrates for sale in the country as there is now. So, again, uh, the Marine Invertebrates book by Ronald, much more in-depth, but yet this is still a good book that Scott made, and uh, I like the layout and the form on it. Kind of switching gears here to my last book, um, by Eric, oh, wow, um, Aquarium Corals. Now, this goes beyond beginners, like the first couple books, and this goes beyond the pocket guides for those of us who need to look something up and figure out whether it's compatible or not. I mean, look at this. We're into the anatomy and feeding structure of corals. This is the kind of book, folks, that probably most people, you set it in front of them, they're either going to scan for the pictures or they're going to fall asleep in front of. But for a reef junkie like myself, um, this is heavier reading, but still very good reading. This kind of book is really dynamic. I mean, yeah, it's, it's in depth, but it's in depth to the way that I wanted it. Um, so I must admit, uh, at this point in my life where my wife and I probably combined have 30 plus years of experience in the tanks, um, and aquariums, um, having a book like this that goes in depth with husbandry and water chemistry and conservation and you know taxonomy and and, and even an anatomy lessons um, joy just fantastic and the author has done a really good job I mean Eric credits um, all his photography he's got excellent references the index and the picture work in here is just fantastic I mean this sucker is just an incredible book um, it's 500 pages it is a hardbound I think it's the only hardbound I have other than that uh, Marine Aquarium's um, uh, basic uh, aquarium setup book. And it's just, this book is well worth it. This is a $30, $40 book, folks, um, with contacts to glossaries to everything in the back of it. Again, five stars on this book, especially for the reef junkies. Certainly not for the beginners, but definitely for the reef junkies. Highly recommend this one. And, of course, you know, coming off this book, which is very in-depth and very wordy, you know, you, you can't forget about where we are in this time and age. You go into your local fish store, you're not going to carry that Aquarium Corals book. You're going to pick up, you know, your phone. In this case, you know, I've got one of these Motorola's. And you're going to go to your app store and pick up a free app like Aquarium ID. Aquarium ID is a free app. Um, you can push fish on it. You can look at all the different fish here. Um, if you pick one of these categories, it's kind of nice because... It'll give you an overview um, within the category, and if you click the overview button, it'll even show you a couple pictures of the fish. Um, so then this is the overview. tells you the temperature, what it eats, what it likes, what's its compatibility. And again, if you hit the overview button there, it'll show you a picture of it. You can do a fish. You can do invertebrates. You know, here we go. Let's look at some clams here. And you can pick a clam that you want, which is kind of nice. And again, it'll tell you the quick details. Where this program has really come in handy for me is certainly when talking to people in the local fish store, um, kind of just making sure that I'm getting the right information. Um, here you go, folks. Now we're even looking at some of the corals here. The coral section's pretty nice, too, because, again, it gets pretty in-depth. you got to kind of walk yourself through it, but it's real easy to do. And, um, you know, once you pick a coral, you can look at the family, or you can get right down to the species level with it and hit the overview button and even get a pretty nice picture. Now, it's not in-depth as, you know, the pocket guides are as far as pictures and information, and it's certainly not in-depth as far as, you know, aquarium corals that Eric did, but the handiness of this is just, you know, incredible. When you're sitting there talking to somebody, even around your fish tank, and they're like, what is that? And they bring up a detail that you don't quite remember. 
Jeez, you just pull out the phone and bang, you're off. Um, this is just a nice free app. So these are the kind of materials that are out there, folks. These are a few that I own. Um, there's a few more I own that I decided not to review because they just weren't worth it. But I hope this helps, especially for people starting out, to see what's out there for literature. And, well, for those of you that, you know, have invested in technology or enjoy reading a good book about the in-depthness of corals, like aquarium corals, maybe this is good for you too. But either way, I thought this would be nice to show you. Um, I think that these programs, you know, where you can go in and get depth about water parameters and tank stuff and corals and fish and invertebrates on your phone is just as good as the books or vice versa. But again, I wanted to kind of review it all so everybody gets to see kind of what's out there and pick something that works good for them. I certainly appreciate you watching this video. I know it got a little long, but again, there's a lot of information here to try to cram into one YouTube video, folks. Um, as you can see, this program, uh, the whole entire time I've been talking, I've been trying to kind of play with it, and it shows a lot. I mean, you can even take pictures of your own corals and post them um, on their little forum board with an aquarium ID. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if it really, you know, has much purpose, but it's still pretty cool. So again, that's Aquarium ID, um, and these are one, two, three, four, five, six books or so that I've I've reviewed for you guys. I hope you appreciate it. Please like or subscribe to my channel so I can continue to produce videos like this. Without your guys' support, I won't be able to con continue to put out good videos like this in regards to the reefs and the marine aquarium, and of course the other hobbies that I like to show on my channel such as um, the farming, the cooking, and, and the lifestyle we live out in the country area. Thank you folks for watching. Appreciate it.